Tyres are critical to the environmental impact of road transport and an important factor for road safety. The EU has introduced Regulation 1222 of 2009 with the aim to improve these factors by promoting more fuel-efficient tyres with low noise levels while maintaining high safety standards, enabling buyers to make more informed purchase decisions. The regulation introduces labels, similar to those found on domestic appliances, which grade tyres according to fuel efficiency, wet grip and external noise. It is the responsibility of tyre suppliers, usually manufacturers, their authorised representatives and tyre distributors, to ensure that tyres are labelled correctly. It is the responsibility of each member state to verify their compliance by conducting market surveillance. Here, at a consumer tyre sale depot, we will conduct an investigation of tyre labelling to ensure the regulation is met. The inspection is commissioned by the appropriate market surveillance authority and must be conducted thoroughly to ensure full compliance. Firstly, we need to be aware that the labelling regulations do not apply to all types of tyre. The following are exempt. Tyres manufactured before the 1st of July 2012. Retreaded tyres. Off-road professional tyres. Tyres designed only for vehicles first registered before the 1st of October 1990. T-type temporary use spare tyres. Tyres with speed rating of less than 80 km per hour. Tyres with nominal rim diameter of less than 254 mm or more than 635 mm. Tyres fitted with additional devices to improve traction properties, such as studded tyres. Tyres designed only to be fitted on vehicles which are exclusively for racing. Where applicable, this regulation applies to Class C1, C2, and C3 tyres. In this case, there is a label stuck on the tyre, so the details on the label can be checked as follows. Is the label in one piece and of the correct overall design? Check the following. The dimensions of the label itself and of the different parts. The colours of the grading bands and the EU logo. Markings such as the regulation and category codes. Are the brand name and tyre model listed on the label the same as those stamped on the tyre? Are the size and rating details the same as those stamped on the tyre? The width, profile, diameter, load and speed should all match. The label should also show the correct wet grip, fuel efficiency and external noise. The regulation states that if a tyre does not have a label at the point of sale, the label must be shown to the end user and be clearly displayed in the immediate proximity around the tyre. If no label is visible either on or near the tyre, this would be a non-conformity. In the event of a non-conformity, it is for your authority to decide on what action to take after the inspection. Upon completion of the inspection, Share the results with the depot manager. It is good practice to give them advice on how to improve conformity. If you wish to further check the conformity, your authority can require the supplier to make all appropriate technical documentation available to you for detailed evaluation. If after that your authority believes that testing is required, then Regulation 1222 of 2009 also describes procedures for undertaking laboratory tests on tyres. These sorts of tests are costly and not likely to be undertaken until the technical documentation has been thoroughly checked. Consult with your authority if you think lab testing is necessary after the inspection of the technical documentation. If tyres being sold are not visible to the consumer, i.e. buying online, the regulation gives guidance for how the seller should display the relevant information. This information is the same as that displayed on the tyre label. By introducing this regulation and tyre inspections, the EU aims to improve fuel efficiency and the environmental impact of road transport without compromising the safety characteristics of tyres.
If you require any further information on the regulation, visit the European Commission's website. Copies of this training film and others, as well as good practice guidance, are available from www.mstyr15.eu.